Today I'm making a cute little pair of heart stud earrings. Hello my jewellery making friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Carol and on this channel we talk about how easy it is to make your own jewellery. Today's project is a super simple one and it hardly takes any materials. So let's get started. All you're going to need for this project is some half hard silver wire or obviously you could use gold as well. This is 22 gauge and that's important because it needs to be able to go through your ear and also through the butterfly backs that I have here. And you will need some seed beads. These ones are 11-0, they're in the color ruby and they are silver lined. And that is it. You will need some tools. I'm going to be using some flush cutters. I'm going to be using some round nose pliers. Now I'm going to be using my bale shaping pliers as well. And two pairs of chain nose pliers. I've got here a pair of chain nose and I've got a pair of flat nose here. As well as that, you will need a nail file or a file. And lastly, you may need some wire straightening pliers. Now I've got two pairs here. These are nylon jawed pliers and they're great for straightening your wire. When, I'm not sure whether we'll need these, we'll have a look. The first thing we're going to do is cut our wire. We're going to cut a piece about seven centimeters, two and a half inches or so, maybe a little bit more. And just taking my um, the flush side of my cutters and I am going to cut that wire. Now what I mean by the flush side is that my cutters have a divot on one side and a flat side. The flat side will give you a flat cut, which means it's easier to make a loop and you'll get a perfect loop. All right. So I'm just going to straighten my wire. So I am going to use my nylon jawed pliers for this. Now I actually have two pairs. You can use one and just hold it, but I really, really like to use both pairs. Let's do that the other way. Just holding it in one pair and straightening it. The reason I tend to hold it in one pair is you get less of a bend. Although today I got a bend. <laughs> right, so now my wire now my wire's nice and straight, or straightish. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a wee loop in the end of the wire. So I'm looking for that flush end that I uh, cut and what I'm going to do is pop that wire between the jaws of my pliers and I don't want it sticking up because that end needs to meet the wire when it comes around to the other side of the loop and it won't work properly if it's sticking up. So just, I'm about two millimetres from the end of my pliers and I'm going to hold the wire between my thumb and my forefinger and just turn my wrist around as far as it will go, just release a, bit, a little bit and turn some more until my wire coming around meets up with my wire coming up. Then what I'm going to do is just holding that in my the jaws of my pliers there. I'm going to just pop my thumbnail into the edge there and move my wire back a bit, my loop back a bit. And it might mean that you have to close it a little bit more. Basically what you're looking for is a nicely centered loop on your wire. Now I can see that mine's just popping up a bit so I'm going to just give it a flat squeeze like that. And there's my loop. All right. Next what I'm going to do is take my bail shaping pliers and I'm going to put that loop inside the, the smallest end of the pliers. And I want to do the same thing, I don't really want it sticking up too much. And then I'm going to wrap that wire around the plier, just like that. And that will form the beginning of my heart. Now before I go any further, I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to grab my heart, my loop there. Oops. And I'm going to twist it around. So just holding the, uh, the bend there and I want to twist it so that it's flat. And it came unlooped, un, a little bit undone when I did that. 
so I'm just going to fix it with my pliers here. And that's what I have. Now you can play with this a little bit to get your heart shape, but basically that's the top of my heart. Now I'm going to put on some of my beads. I only want eight. And you want the ones that fit nicely on your wire. Sometimes uh, the seed beads have a little bit smaller hole, so um, just get the ones that slide up and down your wire okay. If I got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. All right, so that's what I have. Now I'm going to take my pliers, my flat nose pliers, and hold my wire right at the end of those beads. And I'm just going to give it a little bend Oops. so that I have a right angle. Now you could always also make these earrings as large or as small as you like. Right, so it needs to come up a bit more, so just keep bending it until it feels like it's forming, it's forming your heart. Now don't worry about these beads escaping. <laughs> they are supposed to, they're supposed to move around in there. Now I'm going to take my bale shaping pliers again, and I'm going to make a loop again in this side at about the same position. So I'm just judging where that uh, loop is on the other side there. About there, and I'm going to push my wire around and down. Like that. Now it's not a perfect heart and it doesn't need to be. These earrings are honestly not supposed to be perfect. And as I said, you just manipulate them a little bit till they are how you want them to be. Right, so there's my uh, earring at the moment. Now I'm going to take my flat nose pliers again and just slipping them in between the two wires there, between the loop and the wire, and I want to bend the wire to a right angle, like that. Right, now I'm going to switch them around so I'm going at the moment my loop is at the back and my uh, piece coming up towards me is at the front and I'm going to switch them just a little bit and I'm going to cut off the excess so I want my earring part to go it kind of depends on how fat your ear is actually but I want it to be about a centimeter maybe a little bit more and I'm using the flush side of my cutters again so that I get a nice flat cut now what I'm going to do is pull all the way back and I want to put that stalk through that loop now it's a little tricky to get it through but without uh, destroying the shape but you can manipulate it and pull it around and make it work for you. So that's what I have now. So there's my earring. Now all I need to do is, just I'm just flattening it out a little bit, is take my nail file and I want to give that a file so that it's not sharp, it's not going to scratch your ear when you put it through. Just taking off all the edges and then just pop on your butterfly. And there's my little earring. And as you can see, it's got the butterfly on the back. And these little beads will just move around as, as you like. So now it's just making another one and you're good to go with a pair of earrings. Now I've already made my other one, so here are my little pair of earrings. And as I said, those uh, little seed beads can move around quite happily and just gives, adds a little bit of interest. Now that was a quick and easy Valentine's project, wasn't it? Now if you're interested in making the jewelry that I'm wearing today, I am wearing my heart earrings, which I will leave a link in the description box below to the tutorial as well as for the silver foil necklace that I'm wearing. 
I will also leave you a link to a blog post which will contain the requirements for these little earrings and all of the tools etc that you need as well as step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Also remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video and also click that not notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.